Hello and welcome back to DRI TV. I'm Ben Schmidt, joining you from the Diabetes Research Institute at the University of Miami, where I've been a patient for over a decade. Researchers here are making progress on the DRI BioHub, a bioengineered mini organ containing thousands of insulin producing cells that sense blood sugar and release the precise insulin needed in real time. Amazing, right? What's even more exciting, the BioHub offers the promise of restoring natural insulin production in millions with type 1 diabetes like you and me. In this episode of DRI TV, we're taking a closer look at a key part of the BioHub that moves us closer to that goal and can change our lives. Dr. Sherry Stabler and her tissue engineering team have built a special house for insulin producing islet cells. It's called a scaffold, and it's one of the platforms being tested for DRI BioHub. The scaffold can house thousands of islets and other vital components that help the cells survive and thrive, like in their native pancreas. So one of the first challenges that we took on as a tissue engineering lab was to engineer the optimal environment for these islets. And so that's really the first thing was to develop a scaffold, like the scaffolding of a building, that's going to house these islets in three dimensions. So they're going to create a three-dimensional structure just like an organ. So basically engineering in a mini organ that's going to house these islets. It's going to provide the three-dimensional distribution. It's going to provide mechanical protection. And it's also going to provide safety and retrievability and monitoring. So these could be taken out at any time if we need to, which we can't do when islets are put in the liver. And also it provides a platform for then adding all of these other supplemental factors. Because once the islets are contained within a defined microenvironment and not put throughout the liver, then we can now localize different targeted therapies that's going to improve the islet function, such as local drug delivery or improving blood vessel development, other things that will make the islets um, survive long term. At first, the researchers made the scaffolds by hand. Now, thanks to a new one-of-a-kind machine called a compression molder, the DRI can produce the consistent, uniform scaffolds needed for use in patients. The compression molder is, is critically important for us to be able to translate what we now have as a research grade product to a clinical grade product. And so one of the first things that we had to identify was a means to move from our current method of fabrication, which was hand molding them uh, one at a time, to a way in which we can generate a consistent product. And so we came to BioRep and we uh, worked together to design a customized compression molder, which allows us to now create a uniform scaffold, uh, multiple scaffolds at a time, so we now are able to scale up our process and also meet the uniformity and quality assurance standards that are critical for us to be able to move, uh, to move it through FDA regulations and to be able to implant this into humans. The man behind the machine is Ramon Poe, an engineer who founded the Miami-based medical device company BioRep to help further diabetes research. He and his team worked with DRI scientists to custom build the compression molder. This is just a, a, a press. It's a hydraulic press that uh, Dr. Stabler said that she needed something to make a, a waffle out of silicon uh, that needs to be compressed at a very high pressure we manufactured this little uh, press uh, with a lot of force, about uh, 40,000 PSI pounds, and, uh, and that's what they are using to make the, uh, the little uh, biohop. For Poe, finding a cure for diabetes is personal. His daughter was diagnosed with type 1 more than three decades ago. He's been helping the DRI ever since by building critical research equipment like the oxygen sandwich, the renowned recording chamber used worldwide, and much more. I mean, I cannot think of any step of our work over the decades that could have been possible without the help of uh, Mr. Poe and, and his team at BioRep and Altiras. What's next for the BioHub? For that, stay connected to the DRI website and join me, Benno Schmidt, for new episodes of DRI TV. The DRI will get us to a cure with your help and support. Thank you.